The sea, high as a kite, I feel it all around me like a glowing light. So take me and shape me, your will be done in my heart today. Oh, lead me so we'd see your kingdom come. I want to shout it proud, I want to dance and sing, I'm going to make it loud. So when this world is darker than the longest night, your love would shine to me. I'm gonna go, gonna carry the light. I'm gonna carry the light. Oh God, your love's more strong. Then all my fear, I'm standing proud and tall Knowing you are here in every word I say and speak and write I want your love to shine on through so clear and bright So take me and shape me You will be done in my heart today Oh, lead me so we'd see your kingdom come I wanna shout it proud I wanna dance and sing I'm gonna make it loud louder than everything so when this world is darker than the longest night your love would shine to me I'm gonna go gonna carry the everyone, I'm Lucy. Welcome to St. Melitus Family Worship. It's really great that you've joined us today. As you can see, we're still handling our emotions. Last week we looked at the emotion confused, which was a good one because things are changing all the time, aren't they, at the moment with COVID and we're having to keep being on top of what's going on. And this week we're going to be looking at the emotion tiredness. And we've got Tim, who is the curate at St. Paul's and comes to St. Melitus as well, going to be talking a bit more about that a bit later on. So shall we get ready to worship God together in our home? So let's jump up and get ready. I'm going to pray and then we're going to worship our God together. Jesus, thank you that you are with us wherever we are in our homes, that you are with us and we can gather together to worship you. And I pray we can know more of your love for us this morning. Amen. Let's worship. You are strong and fears a liar. Cannot be conquered. I raise a shout because I'm a warrior. Your battle cry will lead me onward.
So it's our last Sunday in Black History Month and today I want to tell you about an amazing black hero of faith. His name was Martin Luther King and he lived in America and in the 60s he stood up in front of hundreds of thousands of people and he did a really famous speech that I'm sure if you haven't already at school you will learn about and it started with the, the words, I have a dream. And what he was fighting for, he was fighting for the cause that everyone, no matter what skin colour they are, are equal. Now you might think that sounds, well, of course they are, but back then it wasn't fair and it wasn't. People with darker skin, black people, were treated differently to white people and that's not fair and he fought for equality that would mean that everyone is treated the same. And the reason he did so well at this is because he had an incredible relationship with Jesus and he trusted God and God gave him the confidence to stand up for what he believed in. What an amazing hero of faith that is. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. Uh, 
And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Tim, wake up. Ooh. Tim. What's up? Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. That is so embarrassing. My name is uh, Tim, and today I want to talk to you about tiredness. Now, I don't know how you feel when you're tired. Do you sometimes feel a bit grumpy? Like, or maybe you feel a little bit sad. Or sometimes maybe you even feel a bit tearful. How do you feel? Do you reckon we could practice some of those faces? So I want you to turn to whoever's in your room and have a go. Should we try the first one? Should we go with grumpy? Let's practice your grumpy face. One, two, three. Or how about your sad face? Or maybe your tearful face. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that's, that's a bit about me and how I feel. But do you know what Jesus says? He says this, he says, come to me, all who are tired and worried, and I will give you rest. Well, that's a funny thing to say, isn't it? Well, do you know what? The other night I was fast asleep as I was just then. And literally in the middle of the night when it was pitch black, I woke up. And do you know why I woke up? I woke up because I was just worried about things. You see, sometimes we just have worries. It's a bit like this big rucksack on my back. It can feel really heavy and it just weighs us down. And as I could not get back to sleep, I suddenly remembered that verse. You know, come to me, all who are worried and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so this is what I did. I just started to say those verses. And then I said, here I am, Jesus, you need to give me rest because I cannot get to sleep. And do you know what, what happened? Well, I, I fell back to sleep. And it was as if this kind of like heavy bag just kind of came off. And it kind of got replaced with a slightly smaller one. And actually the next day when I woke up, I hardly knew it was there. Like the, the weight of the worry just didn't seem significant. Well, let me tell you about a story in the Bible. Now, Jesus had been doing his daily work, he'd been like performing amazing miracles and teaching the people, and all these crowds were around him. But by the end of the day, he got pretty tired. He got a little bit grumpy. And so he asked his friend to take him out into his boat. And when he got onto the boat, he just went to sleep. Now, as the sailors and the disciples were trying to manage this boat, this massive storm started and it, the waves crashed the boat and the rain came down and the disciples were scared. They really thought that the boat was going to capsize. And so what did they do? They went to Jesus, didn't they? And they, they woke him up, they threw a pillow until they got his attention. And he woke up a little bit grumpy, like, who's woken me up? And then they said, Jesus, come on, there's a storm, we're going to die, you need to, you need to save us. But Jesus was like, guys, chill. Didn't you know that I am here? I'm with you in the storm. Like, why are you worrying? You see, the storm is a little bit like our worries. But Jesus could see they were scared, and so he said, guys, just chill. And he just went outside, and he said to the waves and the storm, just, just stop. And everything stopped and suddenly the water was still. And they looked at Jesus and they're like, wow, even the waves and the winds obey him. 
You see, Jesus knows our worries. He knows when we're tired. He knows when we're grumpy, when we're sad and tearful. But he says, I'm there with you. Come to me and I will give you rest. What do you do when you get a little bit tired and the worries just feel really heavy? Where do you go? Well, I want to challenge you today to think about going to Jesus first. Talk to him because he says, come to me and I will give you rest. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you invite us to come to you, that you say and promise that you'll give us rest, that you'll make those worries, those worries, I don't know, school and friends, whatever it might be, just kind of feel a lot lighter. So Lord, would you give us rest and peace today and this week? In Jesus' name, amen.